may notice, this is not our typical backyard. Right. So we are actually on a Denali Highway, which um, goes from... Cantwell to Glen Allen, Alaska, and it's about 125 to 130 miles long. Complete gravel road, but so we had to take it really slow in old Betsy, but we made it and we found actually a better spot than we could have ever imagined. Look at this. We have the beautiful fall colors. We have beautiful warm weather. I'm still wearing a t-shirt. Yeah, and um, Yeah, it's not even windy, which is very unusual for this time of the year. So while we're here, it is, as you guys know, annual moose hunting season. Moose hunting season opens. September 1st through September 20th for most moose hunts in the state of Alaska. There's special permits we put in for some drawings. Unfortunately, we didn't get anything this year, but we're still able to hunt for a regular bull moose. Yeah, the regular bull moose season. And out here, it's spike fork, 50 inch, or four brow tine. Okay, so, so whatever that means, I'm glad he does because <laughs> I don't. But we're here because we love doing it as a family. And we got everything ready. We got the forwarders. We got... Um, Motorhome, easy up, forwarders, food, fuel, it's, and it's firewood. Camping with guns is what we call it. But hopefully our, our freezer has gotten extremely low. I think the only thing we have left is actually the halibut from our... Um, fishing trip. Fishing trip ago. in Homer. So... If you haven't seen that yet, check out the past vlogs because that was actually an amazing experience. Yes, it was. But, so we really are desperate for moose. So we're going to pray about this one and tomorrow morning we're going to head out and we are going to follow the trails. I ha we have a few ideas about what direction would be good to, to um, be able to glass over some valleys and see if we cannot find the moose that we can shoot and be able to fill up our freezer because quite honestly, Usually we only live off of moose and fish and fish that yeah. we catch and hunt. Yeah, mm -hmm. so it's super healthy. Moose is extremely lean meat. So um, yeah, and it comes right here in the middle of Alaska. So there's no hormones, nothing in it. It's absolutely amazing and it tastes delicious. Yep, and one moose will feed this family for two years. Yep. So in the last 12 years, I think we bought beef maybe 10 or 15 pounds of beef over the last yeah, 10 or 12 years. pretty much it, yeah. yeah. So when we have to go buy it, we're like, ah, that's expensive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So wish us luck, we could really use it. And I know the emmets are really low too. So if we could get one moose for all of us, that would be absolutely amazing. That would fill but, both of our freezers up. Yep, yeah, but in the meantime, we'll be able to take you guys along, show you what hunting in Alaska really is like. And yeah, if you guys have any questions about hunting or how we do things or how we process meat, just comment below and we'll be happy to answer any questions you guys may have. Yep. But first, we're going to get everything ready, set up, get a nice dinner, get to bed early, and um, just enjoy this absolutely gorgeous night. Maybe go for a little walk with the ducks. What do you absolutely. Think? Sounds like a plan. Okay. So, you guys come along. Okay, Kirsten, you would absolutely love this. So, I'm missing you already and I wish you could just see how absolutely gorgeous this is. But I'll make sure I take tons of pictures for you.
we had an amazing night with no heat in Betsy. But thankful for this one, he brought a generator and backup heat because we woke up to how many degrees? It was 45 in the motorhome and 25, 28 outside. So everything was frozen over, so it's 9.30. It was a little hard to get started when it's still so chilly. So we had a good breakfast, good cup of coffee, and now we're going to get ready to head north in between, just, just in between those mountain ranges we show you guys in a second, and head north and go if we see if we can't find some moose. So let's get packing. Yep. So for moose hunting here, uh, my preferred firearm is a 300. Um, I've used this gun for at least 12 years. It's a 300 Remington Model 700. I've taken mini moose, bear, and caribou with this particular rifle. It's never failed me, and uh, it's ridden hundreds and hundreds of miles on snow machines and four-wheelers for all the hunts that I do. So this is my hunting rifle, and this year it is my turn to take the first shot at the moose. So Amy uses a Weatherby 308 youth model, and uh, this got plenty of takedown power. But what we always like to do is I will have my rifle out and ready to go at the same time as a follow a backup shot, just in case, because a moose is a big animal. Sometimes it takes more than one shot. So always stay prepared. So Amy, this is the right? Yes. <laughs> So I always want to make sure when I go out, I always have my GPS with me. Typically what I'll do is I will turn it on, I'll mark our camp here, and then I'll turn it back off and we just drive because I don't want it to make a breadcrumb trail for hours on end. And then uh, when we get back to wanting to come back home, I'll just turn it back on and I'll hit our waypoint and it'll head us in the right direction. Unless we get into a really crazy non-established trail and we're having a break trail, I will breadcrumb, which means it's gonna drop a waypoint every so many seconds on the way back out. That way we don't sit there and have to fight a fight a second time. We can just go come back down the trail we've already established, so. So I guess the most difficult part is to find that trail in. So we found a few, but they didn't go very far, but super swampy, so um, we weren't able to get through. But we're going to keep on looking, but while we're traveling around, we find these amazing, beautiful, special areas that you otherwise would never see. Look at that. It is so beautiful. I love Alaska, what can I say? Please do not fall in! That is so cool! Ah, uh, that's where the yelling is coming from. Lily's on the other side. <laughs> you know, Lily, we're a little tempted to shove you down. Did you hear me? <laughs> what are you really? That was scary. Nice. Well, we got plenty of fuel. We're just going to keep driving on the road until we, we got find a, a spot. Ooh. So we found a really awesome trail. Unfortunately. 
unfortunately it is really steep so we had to unload everything and Steve is gonna drive up there and we're just gonna have to hike it in but it's this right there? it goes all the way up there all the way to the mountain ridge so let's see if we can find something So what just happened, Hendrik? I have no idea. The four wheeler is stopped in the middle of a hill. And I don't think Daddy can get it up. Just trying to find a way to cross this river. I guess we have to get creative. So we got ourselves into a little situation. We're gonna have to winch ourselves out. Luckily my winch cable and the strap that I had. Are just long enough. <laughs> just long enough by like a foot. Please don't drop my children in the water. <coughs> I'll try not to. The trailer almost flipped. How does it feel to be a survivor of this oh, experience? My butt hurts. <laughs> my I knees swallowed. hurt.
Ben, what are you doing? But with the photo, we just can't make it, it would be too hard. But so let's get ready to 